How satisfying is this? <laughs> it looks like I'm hiding. Sorry. So, this pillowcase... The armholes. And look at how pretty this is. It's almost like it's perfect. It's so pretty. Okay, so I think this is a nice number. 100 votes and 64% for the cycle t-shirts. I just wanted to show you the outfit of the day because I just realized I made everything. So I've made my bag, there's a video for it. I made my dress, there's a video for it. I made this jacket, there's a video for it. I made this scarf last year, there's no video for it. And uh, I made these earrings, there's no video for it either. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five items, my whole outfit. Just wanted, I just realized, so I just wanted to share. cold um sorry about my voice today i'm actually feeling better but my voice is gone okay so i asked you in the community tab what would you like to see would you like to see a christmas diy um what did i say a christmas diy oh an embroidery and chat because i really fancy the embroidery <laughs> i might just do the embroidery and talk to myself embroidery and chat mind you with this voice was sort of and brother in chat would that have been a Christmas DIY or a t-shirt um, upcycle. So you all chose pretty much t-shirt upcycle is about 65%. So there we are. I just show you how um, the buff t-shirts fit me. This t-shirt is mine um, in my wardrobe. It's a normal plain black t-shirt. And this t-shirt I uh, is a very, very oversized t-shirt. Um, that I thrifted last year, I think, uh, from um, the thrift store, you know, the place where I normally go and uh, they sell brand new stuff from shops that have gone under. I bought it because the quality is amazing. It's actually a 4XL for men and um, the quality of the t-shirt is amazing and I think I paid like one euro. The print, I don't really care for, so I will most likely cut it off and use it as a print for one of my hoodie um, upcycles because I want to make a line of hoodie upcycles and jumpers upcycles and then tops. So anyway, the idea is I've done a drawing because I'm trying always to say what I'm going to do and it's kind of difficult. So anyway, I've done a drawing. Hopefully future Luz will put it here now. And uh, what I've done is I want to make a variation of a peplum because I love me some peplum and uh, I love wearing them. So the idea is to harvest as much fabric from this uh, shirt as I can to make maybe the side panel from the drawing. You can see there is like a medium, like a, like a center panel, the two sides, and then the peplum actually is only around the size. I'm thinking maybe start from here to don't know if I want to go all around or just leave the front and back panels flat and then do a peplum on this side. That's what I've done the drawing because I'm not sure I'm going to explain this properly. So this is my super basic block from my dress from the summer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use this part. So basically this will be the pattern for this here. And then I will attach the blue part that way and then the peplum. Now, I don't think I have enough fabric here to do both sides and the peplum. I don't think I do. So I might have to uh, mix up another t-shirt um, and maybe reuse some of this black one as well. We shall see. But that's what we're doing today. 
um, the first coffee. Recording black is always interesting. Anyway, so that's my black t-shirt and the blue t-shirt. That's my top one. I have marked here what I want to do the peplum in both of them. And I have marked here where the print starts. So I'm actually going to go ahead and make a line and, and on top of the black one here and cut them both. But also cut um up to here mm. okay so that's the height but okay what i'm gonna do first is cut them like that and then see if i can add this to this one and see where we at then obviously i have all this fabric here that i could use as a peplum um and obviously this pit will go because it will be underneath okay so i think that's the plan i'm actually only cutting the black one for now I have the mark of where I want to attach the blue one, but I think if I cut one at a time, I'll probably do better. Okay. Right, so now I have this. I need to add this part minus the print to the ones that I just cut. So I'm going to cut this one this way. And because I'm going to do a peplum from here, I'm just going to cut it from here. So I'll cut this and up and I'm just going to use these parts. And then the rest I'm using for the peplum. That's the plan. <laughs> okay, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll figure it out. How satisfying is this? <laughs> okay, so the two front, the two sides, sorry, the front. And I managed to cut the whole bottom of the blue shirt. So what I'm going to do now to have two pieces... What I'm going to do is I'm going to open it by the seams and attach each one to one side of here. So I will attach one here and the other one on the other before I attach it to the black one. This is actually quite much faster <laughs> than I thought. Okay, so I think this is a nice number. 100 votes and 64% for upcycled t-shirts. So I thought today I wasn't going to be taking painkillers, but... I gave in and I took some. It has been three weeks of my neighbors drilling. Three or four weeks now. And I'm wondering, what are they doing? <laughs> it's long enough now. Yeah, there they go again. Sorry. So, I've done the two sizes of the top in blue. The blue sizes. And I've done uh, the peplum for both sizes. And then I realized I took it off the t-shirt and I didn't know which one is the front or which one is the back so from the the one that I have I looked at how the seam is done um so it's kind of folded towards the front so this is toward the front this should be this side and this should be this side and this is when I put it together and we find out if um I've measured this properly <laughs> I'm not sure it looks good though it looks really good so let me put it, I'm going to iron this seam again. Um, I do like nice crisp finish, ironing almost everything. So yeah, this is going much faster than I thought. So it all together I realized that I put one of the panels wrong I'll show you in a minute but I actually do like the shape a lot and it has given me an idea of what to do for different tops I do like the um, peplum just on the sides and uh, I don't particularly enjoy the um, sleeves as much but it wasn't original sleeves from the original t-shirt but as a tunic, I think it works perfectly. I'll show you what I've done wrong now. So this is what I call now a tunic. Because it really is not a t-shirt anymore, it's a tunic. I have learned two things doing this uh, uh, top. First of all, 
um, have a good look at <laughs> your seams and what is right and what is wrong. And only realized right at the end when it was already done. I even pinned it and I never noticed. So that's the first thing. Second thing, I think I want to make the front a little bit narrower. I think it will look nicer if there is a lot less space here. Yeah, I think it will look nicer if there is um, less front and the side is a little bit wider. You know what I mean? The, this thing a bit narrower. But it is a super nice, comfortable, I think it's a fine tunic. Um, yeah, I think definitely narrower um, the black part. Um, and uh, I have an idea, so hold on. So you saw the mistake that I made. Um, I really like the tunic, I really like how it feels. Very comfortable and very nice. And according to the drawing that I've done, um, I wanted to do that in different materials. So I then I went and I found these tablecloths. They are the same tablecloth that I did the blue jacket last uh, video. I think it's last video. So I have a selection of colors here. I'll show you in a minute. Um, they're all brand new and they are all uh, thrifted. I try my best to always work with secondhand uh, textiles, whatever I got to them. This, this one, uh, it looks like uh, it's rough, but it's actually super, super soft cotton that has this beautiful um, distressed look. And then this, I have this uh, embroidery anglais, is that what it's called? Embroidery anglais? Um, I love the, the, the little flowers. I, I adore the color. They look really nice, but look at this with this guy. Don't they all look amazing? So I'm gonna have a look at um, rearranging the, the pattern that I did for this. For this, it wasn't really a pattern. I was just cutting off the, the print um, of the t-shirt. I can't believe how much fabric is still left. <laughs> I have a, a real weird shaped part of a t-shirt, but this is going back to my stash. And so is the, the black beads from the sleeves from the original black one. But this is a lovely sample for me to wear. But I'm now really, really excited about playing with these ones on the pattern and trying to come up with a cool peplum just on the sides and playing with a patchwork where it's going to go on the front, where it's going to go on the sides. Um, yeah, I'm going to be putting the sides together and doing the patterns and... Uh, I'm as as much as I'm not feeling all that well. This project kind of have lifted my uh, my spirit. I've not been in the sewing room, in the studio, for the better part of two three days now. I am really happy to be back into the sewing room. It has lifted my spirit, even though I'm still not feeling the greatest. So let this um show you what I've got here and what I'm planning to put because I have three sections. I might use the three sections for different three different colors or even more. Let's see. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's see. Okay, so I just rearranged the pattern. This is my back panel, the, my front back panel. So it goes all the way to the end of the tunic. And this is the side um, that I'm going to do with different colors. So from here down, I have to make the poplin. And this is the front and then that front that's on the fold here. That front will have this attached front, um, the sleeves front and back are the same. So I hope that will look really nice. I hope it's easy to understand what I'm doing. Okay, so I know I show you the other textiles, but when I was putting in here to see what it would look like together, I found this one. <laughs> it looks like I'm hiding. Sorry. So this pillowcase, I thrifted, washed it, put it in my stash, and I haven't found anything to do with. But look at this combination, these three. Don't they look amazing? So this is like a, um, like a used look. Yeah, I think that's what it says on the label actually. 
a used look. And then uh, I have this beautiful thicker cotton and this thinner cotton. So this one, if I don't pleat, uh, pleat it a lot, it will actually have quite a lot of weight in here. And I think the combination of them three is amazing. So I'm going to have this one. But hold on, because I have something else that I found. I found this shirt um, that I thrifted not long ago, actually, this one. I thrifted it in um, in the, one of the markets in Waterloo Market in Amsterdam. So I have this color. And then I was thinking I'm going to play with this and this. So these three look amazing together and then these three look amazing together. So I'm going to try to cut these two and let's see how long I can. So today I, I, I think if I cut all the pieces and I prepare it, I'll be happy. I'm going to start feeling a little bit down again. <laughs> I'm happy but tired. So I don't think I have that long hours. Um, I'm happy that I found the combination of colors. So I'm going to crack on with that. So I was recording and for whatever reason there was no sound. Anyway, I have cut my front pieces. That's the pillowcase, the front and the other side of the pillowcase. And now I realize that I still have some fabric here. For the pillowcase is kind of folded inside. So once I open it, I have enough to maybe make another one. So these are the ones. And then I'm going to try... I'm going to try to use the the hem of this tablecloth because it's already done and it will be a waste to cut it off and then make another hem. So I'm going to try to measure it and pleat it um, to make the top. This one is going to be lovely. Look at these mini skirts. Ain't they the cutest? I'm just, just double checking before I saw anything that I've got the right thing. <laughs> the wrong size together. Pin it. And also remember to do these pleats, one one of them one side and the other one the other side. So I was thinking, you know, you could make this any size so long as you put the different sizes in here. Yeah, so like these will be the same size and then this could go wider or shorter depending on how much wider you want to make it, bigger or smaller. But don't they look so darling? Okay, I'm going to let you be and finish it up. So it makes no sense at the moment. <laughs> but that is one armhole, one side, the other side. The back, I think. That's the other side, armhole, and that's the front. So all I need to do to close it now is... So this is the last seam I need to do is the front to the side and then I need to do the shoulders. I'm not being able to do the shoulders because the pieces weren't put together. The sides needed both sides, the purple and the thingy, but ah, the colours are just driving me mad. I think it's beautiful, don't you? Look at this one in there waiting for me. Even the, Even this one looks lovely with these two. Doesn't it? I might mix them up again and make another one because it's so pretty. But I love this purpley one. It's almost done now. Almost finished. I'm going to finish just the neckline and both armholes with a um, bias tape. I, uh, I used most of the already finished uh, uh, hems. So I don't, I need to just finish these threads. But other than that, the hems are really done. I only need to do the armholes. And look at how pretty this is. It's almost like it's perfect. It's so pretty. Let me finish that. I've already tried it, but I will show you when it's done. It's beautiful. So for this one, I'm wondering, um, I'm thinking of leaving the neckline, the collar, because it is not an oversized men's collar. It's a women's collar. Um, and then put the sleeves like this. But the question would be, shall I make like a balloon sleeves for this one? Um, for this tunic. Shall I make that into more of a winter um, blouse or tunic?
This is really nice. So what do you think? It will be nicer with uh, white trousers, but I really like the um, the peplums just on the side, not on the front or the back. So it makes it for a much more, I think it makes it for a much more interesting tunic. I think, as I said, if you're in a smaller size, um, I could put some kind of uh, tights from the sides and reduce the size. So this design could be different sizes. I'm trying to make things that it could go for different sizes. Now, the question is, why will I be making cottons and linens now when it's autumn? Well, you could actually wear it like that with a layer on top or a layer underneath. It is a, a lovely tunic and I think it will look gorgeous either or way. Um, I'm going to try to see if I could develop some kind of um, sleeve to do with the brown one, I think. And I'm going to start putting some different fabric combinations but I think this one is a winner I I love this one and I love the t-shirt tunic so I'm, I'm really happy because I learned how to make it I thought I reduced the size of the front panel and I think it is still too wide I think maybe I need to come in even a little bit more so maybe from the I don't know what do you think I keep on looking at myself in the in the screen what do you think I, I think it's a lovely, lovely tunic, but um, yeah, I'm going to be making different combinations and putting it on. I'm really happy with this one. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.